everyone, this is Beth, the Polka Dot Scrapper, and I just have a quick tutorial here for you. I'm going to make a, a wall hanging using a doily. Uh, this was in some stuff of my grandmother's. I'm not, I don't think she crocheted it, but uh, I think someone distant in our family did. And uh, this, I just want to preserve this family heirloom by, and also make a, a nice wall hanging. And so to get started, I just have a 12 by 12 piece of paper, pattern paper, and this is out of a K and Company, I believe, Life's Journey uh, stack. And then I have a green um, solid piece from uh, My Mind's Eye, one of their stacks. I can't remember the name, um, but that was out of a My Mind's Eye. And all I'm going to do, oh, I'm sorry, the measurements for this piece is actually one and a half inches. And I'm going to start by putting that down here and right now I'm just going to sort of place my pieces and this right here is um, I don't know if you can see that that's actually felt it's a felt cut out uh, and it's a Prima this is a package that I found at, uh, at a Michaels several years ago so I'm not sure if it would still be available but anyway that's going to go right down here and I kind of already had this laid out and planned out last night um, so that I wouldn't, <laughs> sometimes the creative process uh, takes a while. So, but as you can see here, I decided that I'm going to put these little pearls here. Let's see if I can make this focus a little better. Actually not. Okay, so, but I'm going to use uh, just the Recollec Recollections brand. It's just the pearls. And all you have to do Just clip it off and these scissors I actually got at a dollar store and they are very very sharp and they are the best scissors for precision cutting and I'll show you what I did with them here in just a second but as you can see I just put it right there just in that and I didn't want to go overboard and put a lot on here so I'm just gonna quickly because really the main thing that I want to highlight is is the doily not all the uh, but I wanted to pick out that pink just to kind of make it stand out a little bit so as you can see I just took some uh, velvet ribbon and it is an American Crafts premium ribbon off of this this roll it's out of one of their packs and so I just wove it in and out of the stitching and just to secure that a little bit I'm just going to use a piece of score tape. Okay, so now, okay, you can kind of see how it's coming together here. And I'll go back and uh, actually adhere everything in just a moment. I just wanted you to get the, the feel of the layout. Actually, I'm sorry, I'll go ahead and do it because I, I kind of played with this last night when I was prepping for the video and I already know that this is definitely how I want it so so I'll just go ahead and use my tape okay so as you can see I've got my green adhered down and also um, I felt piece and it was adhesive backed. I don't know if I mentioned that before. Um, and so what I'm going to do to adhere this down, I'm just going to use a little bit of this um, eighth of an inch score tape. Find my end here. Okay. And I'm just going to use just a little bit. Play nice. So that I think is pretty just in and of itself but I wanted to add a little bit more uh, embellishments just to kind of set it off just a little bit and also to kind of uh, set off the paper a little bit behind it to give it that more of a vintage feel and these are just some die cuts that I have had in my stash for a long time um, and a kit that I got back when I first started scrapbooking so uh, I honestly can't tell you what it was or where I got it. 
but uh, I'm going to pop up one of these and then I'm going to um, leave one flat. I'm just going to play with this here. I think I would like to have the bigger one um, popped. So I'll just score tape uh, the smaller one down. Because as you can see, it kind of has a shadow right there. So now I have my foam dots on the back, and I did double pop, double uh, pop it up, and I just I did change the color just a little bit because I wanted to uh, make it a little bit more vintagey. So I used the antique linen, and then I just um, used the fabric red, just to barely tap the edge. I don't know if you can see, because again I just wanted to bring out that pink and red. So I'm gonna go ahead. And Pop it on there, okay, and that gives that a uh, little bit more of a shadow. And I do have uh, some leaves that I cut out from an, another piece of pattern paper. And again, as I said, these scissors, uh, just from the dollar store, are excellent for cutting out this precision cutting there. I love them. Okay, now I'm just going to adhere this down. Got the other, other leaf here. I think I'm just going to score tape this one. Okay. I like that one there. And I did just pop that once. So so now I don't know if you can actually see the dimension there. I think that's going to turn out really neat. And this right here is probably my favorite thing on this uh, project. This again was a, just another die cut that I had in, a, in one of an, uh, my old packets that I've got that I've had since I've started scrapbooking. Probably had it about 10 years. So what I'm going to do to give it some dimension, I'm going to score tape down the center. Okay. But just on the side of the score tape, I'm going to pop it. Okay, so this one does have the one that you can bend uh, to close it. And the reason I got that one is because when you're doing a project that has a little bit of dimension with the pop-up and so forth and you don't have a shadow box, uh, this does give it a little bit more of a leeway as opposed to the frames that you actually have to slide it into the frame part. So I'm going to go ahead and lay this in. And I make sure that I've got my wall hanging at the top. Okay, we're just okay, we just have to feel for those levers. Okay, so we've got it in. Just press them down. Okay, now and there you go. 
We have a beautiful piece of art that you can uh, hang on your wall and preserve a family heirloom. I thank you for watching and we'll see you again soon.